Here we go again once more into the breach. <laughs> okay, um, so what do I want to do here? Obviously getting the cores would be beautiful. Uh, getting some power here would be great. Both of these have high threats. Um, however, those make for kind of interesting missions. Killing four enemies inflicted with acid, that seems like it's going to be very hard. <laughs> but the biggest thing is protecting this defense lab. Uh, let's just see what happens, shall we? Wait, oh, oh, I've got an acid tank. Oh, that's interesting. Is it autonomous? I would, oh, I hate these. These alpha starfish can absolutely F right off. Uh, let's do something like this. I'm going to get into this backline area and protect here. And then this is obviously going to be problematic, but both of these guys are capable of, of, of dashing across. Oh, please don't kill that. Is this guy the uh, Exploder variant? I'm thinking so. No. Yes? Yes. All other Vec explode upon death, dealing one damage to adjacent tiles. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's just gonna be confusing. It's just gonna be confusing, man. Um, okay, so I... Okay, okay, okay. So I'm actually in control here. That's new. That's new and exciting. What are my top priorities? That building's in trouble. This building's in trouble. Unless I kill these... And if I kill these, they're going to uh, explode adjacent tiles. So like, oh, actually though, I don't take any damage on my turn. So do I care about that necessarily, personally? Don't think I do. I don't think that I do. Because on my turn, I'm not going to take damage, right? Let's think about this. So this dude, the only thing he's he's hitting is our time pod, which, you know, obviously isn't super cool or anything. Um, I'm wondering, if we put acid here, does he take extra bump damage? I want to say yes. Because I could do this. I got, I got other problems though, right? Like, um... Okay, let's just reset this. Let's say I wanted to do something like this, okay? This solves a couple of problems. Um... Number one, it gets this guy here, which is super cool. Blocks this. His attack goes to this tile, C6, which, who cares? because I'm going to move away from that, right? Um, yeah. So then what if I did something like this, right? And I put acid there. I should probably do that first so that if he does take extra bump damage, that might even straight up kill him. I'm just uncertain if acid causes extra bump damage. I feel like it will. I feel like it will. That'll be dealt with. I do have to deal with this somehow. Um, this is two damage. <sighs> Can I make all this happen? What if I, okay, hold on. What if I came down here to grab this and then did this, okay? So he comes down here, he puts acid on there. We do this, bump damage. I feel like because he takes one here, he's gonna take extra, and he's gonna take the bump. He would definitely die off of that. Uh, then I could come down here, punch this guy over, and come, uh, but then I gotta move this guy anyway. But if I punch him over, uh, he wouldn't be hitting anything important because they hit on the diagonals. And then I could, Oh, actually. 
Actually, I would have to take some damage, which isn't which isn't horrible, okay? It's not horrible for me to take damage. I got five health. And it would also end up killing this guy. Actually, I would just kill this guy. It doesn't even matter. Um, but that seems like it might work. Okay, so he's got the acid. Okay, so he doesn't take extra bump damage. But that's not the end of the world, because I can attack from, from this side. Okay. So now, if I were to come here... Let's just see what happens. Um, this guy would stay in this location. Right? So he wouldn't move over. <laughs> I feel like maybe this guy gets pushed and explodes, though. I feel like maybe this guy gets pushed and explodes then. Oh, this is so complicated. Because killing them, they they do damage in different directions. Yeah, see, he's gonna he's gonna explode after the push, which then gets rid of my acid tank, which I, I don't want to do. And then that makes it so that uh this guy doesn't even die. We take damage here, and then this guy, of course, does die. I, I think there's another I think there's gotta be another way. So I'm thinking, okay, look, let's say I do this, right? Let's say I do this. It kills this guy, which is good. This dude stays here. So his attacks hit here, 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 and here. He won't die, which, you know, not the coolest. We're going to take some damage here. We're going to take two damage. Uh, but other than that, oh, wait. No, yeah, we'll be protected here on the explosion. And then we knock, we kill this guy. Oh, frick. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> We're reset. <laughs> oh, I saw, I saw, as soon as I hit him, I was like, oops. I gotta hit him down. I gotta hit him this way. Okay, so let's, we're redoing that whole thing. God. And now knowing what I know, is that still the best play? Him exploding down here is fine because we have the protection bubbles. These protection bubbles have just been ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous. See, the thing is, I actually don't even need the acid on this guy. But I do need to kill four enemies that are inflicted with acid. So, like, putting it there is helpful unless I put it here. Right? Because then, if I punch this way... That, oh no, because this dude won't be dead on that. That's the problem. And then he'll blow this up, right? Okay, let, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get a turn in. Um, we're gonna go here, right? Now, when I kill him, I'll be safe, but this guy takes damage. And then I gotta go here and kill him this way. So we'll take a bit of damage, but uh, that's fine. Okay, okay. Oh, he took acid for free there. 
Love that for us. Love that for us. Okay, now, this guy needs to die here. Which is doable. Um, God, this, these explosions are really causing a an annoyance. So, at first glance, I'm thinking we do we do this right. It obviously, kills him. He goes down to one. I'm looking acid here, just to get the objectives right. Uh, we put acid on, then I come down here. I do have to be mindful that I'm going to go down to one health here. Um, but if I knock him this way, that'll be enough to kill him. He'll come down here and explode on these tiles, which is fine. And actually then this guy will be dead. And I think I could reach this tile and kill him. Yeah. I mean, this looks good in my brain, which doesn't say a lot, I think. But this is what we're doing. Oh! Wait. Why did he... Whoops. Why did... Why did he... Why do I keep hitting that? Why did he take... Two damage there? Uh... I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. But... I won't argue. Here. Okay, so you definitely have to come off of this. Oh, you're at two. Why did I think we we're gonna be lower? Oh, I'm I got a kill and healed. I think, right? Do I have that thing in? Yeah, I do, I have it on him. Alright. So they no longer explode, which is nice. But even if I acid here, I'm going to need a stronger one to kill him, I think. I mean, that obviously kills him. I could... Can I acid this guy? Not really. I can't really acid that dude. And then and then move into a position that, that kills him without him getting killed. So I kind of have to acid here. Which is fine. Um... That's not going to be enough. I'm probably going to have to do this. Or what if... What if I did this? He kills that. Then I could come here. I'm going to take acid, but that's fine. I move this down, and then you kill this, which also heals, and then... We're all happy dandy. Oh, wait. <laughs> Frick! Uh, yeah, that's right. I have to do something like this. Which is, this is fine too. I'm still blocking something. And getting a kill. And he actually is going to move off that acid, which I totally also planned. Oh my god. Okay, we still have two turns. I feel like I've been on this map for about three hours. Because uh, I have. 
Um, so you're pulling? Yeah, you're gonna pull me here. But if I get out of the way, um, then we have buildings in trouble. You, my friend, I maybe line up here. This guy's just gonna explode if I don't kill him. But I do see... Okay, I, I, I would love to, like, shoot this tile, obviously. The problem is that we bounce into the, the building there. So that won't be cool. There is this. There's this, which kills him. And then I could acid here. Or there's just this. Right? That's going to push him out there and I don't have to worry about it. Then I could come in. Like that, but... I don't love that either. This guy is really the one that's putting a wrench into our plans, hey? Let's just say for a second I did this. Okay, so he's dead. And then he's got four. One, two, three, four. He does three. So if we have if we do take acid there, then that's bad. I might just actually tank the shot with our mech pilot. And yes, he'll move us into the acid, but the acid would be applied after the damage there. Right? Wait, what did I say I wanted to do here? I can't do that. Oh my god. The game is so, so hard. Basically, I need to clear this so that this guy can come down and go here, right? But I, I cannot do this because we hit that building unless unless I somehow like if I do this and punch him then he's not here but I'm worried that I would take that acid on the following turn, and then his attack hits me, and then I die, you know? Okay. So what if I just did this? That's gonna move him away, which means I'd have to go one, two, three, four, which I won't get there. One, two, three, four. I could do it from here, though, but he wouldn't die. And if I just push him down, that's not going to be good enough. So I literally need to make it so that I can come down here and knock him away. Right? Or we have this. This guy moves. This guy moves. Fine. Uh, I don't need to acid... S uh... If I acid here, it doesn't matter. And I can't acid there because then he's he's blocked and I can't hit from this side. So that's a that's a problem. Um Unless, what if I did this? What if I went here? Let's say that I did come here. And we acid this guy. Right? On this shot, this guy's gonna take two. 
this guy's gonna die. One, two. Oh yeah, but then I, I have to like, I have to clear this guy to be able to clear this. If I want to do it that way. The other option is we just move these guys. Right? Then I don't have to worry about them. And this guy, he is going to deal three if I don't kill him. So I don't really want to block. Well, I mean, I could. I could just tank this. It's one turn. Yeah, it's one turn. What am I, what am I even worried about? I'm over, I'm overthinking it. I just need to survive and save buildings. So if we did that, so we tank, right? He's gonna pull me into the acid, but I wouldn't take acid damage. Right? <laughs> And then, uh, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, I think we're good. Yeah, uh, I overthought that. There's like a it's like a smidge. A smidge. However, we did perf we did a perfect round, so and a pod. I was hoping for a pilot. But I'll you know what? Two power cores off that essentially. So that was kind of cool. Um what do we want to do next here? Should we just go for something? What's the detritus contraption? That seems kind of cool. The det the detritus contraption. I've no clue what that is. Uh, what about this one for a little bit of power? Vec egg sacs. That's these, I presume. And protect the power plant. That's tough because we're going to have a bunch of competing objectives. And then here we're going to have a strong one. Disposal unit here. Destroy all mountains? Impossible. That seems really, really challenging. Okay, I want to see what this is. I want to see what the detritus contraption is. Okay, so these are some hefty boys. I hate the alpha starfish. Have I mentioned that? Because I, like, I, I just, I just really hate them. Okay, let's see. Uh, how do I... Give a shield to every unit, allies and vec. Huh. So I guess you want to do that at, like, the end of your turn, right? And then here, fires a missile at every unit ally. Oh, this is cool because we... <laughs> that's cool because we don't take any damage on our turn. So we'll have that yellow bubble protecting us. So that's, like, a free one damage on everything. I think we just fire that off the first two rounds. Uh, these guys are gonna web, right? But I can just always push them off, so they're they're not a huge scare factor for me. And we have to use it four times, so I have to do something every turn. Nice, bros, directly in the acid. Okay, so. Let's missile barrage. Right? This guy's gonna die. This dude's gonna be weak, and then when I punch him, he's gonna die. Alright. So these two are gone. Then... Then I have a problem.
then I have a problem. Uh... Oh, wait a sec, maybe not. Check this out. I have this play here, and I have the charge, so he dies. Love to see it. Dead, dead. Alive and annoying. And then... Here... I don't love doing that, obviously. I don't love damaging this thing. But it's all I got. And I think that's okay. I think that's okay. Oh, wait. Oh! I could have come here and and launched him up this way. That was a misplay. Okay, so it's... Okay. It, look, if it's gonna take... If, if, if something's gonna hit it, it's gonna die. So, like, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Oh, is that Exploder Boy? Love that. This is actually fine. So he causes adjacent explosions. So I actually do need to kill him first, which is easily done. Before I trigger this thing. Now, uh, so if we launch over top like this, he dies, which is cool. And then I just punch here and he dies, and that's cool. Okay, so that's all of these guys. However, do I use my damage now? I don't think so. I think this is the time where I just use my shield barrage. Because, like, who cares, right? I just need to use everything. On every turn. Would have been nice to have him blocking something there, but... That's fine. Okay. Oh, he keeps that shield. Oh, for, why did I think that... Why did I think that that would be gone this turn? Because I'm, I'm dumb. That's clearly why. Okay, so you're attacking... What are you doing? You must be attacking this way. And you must be attacking this way. Your deal is there. Um, I could punch here, kill that. I could launch here. Pushes this guy into acid. And then he, he attacks in the diagonals. So he would hit this guy. These guys would hit each other. I actually think... I don't know what's... This guy might not even be in this position, because I think he's going to get pulled by this guy, and then he's going to hit him. It's like a whole thing. And I'm just going to kind of, like, watch them, I think. Right? Is this my play? I also, of course, have this. Um, Which, I probably use this now, and then on the next turn, I just need to su survive, so I use this one, right? Is there any downside to using this now? I guess if I if I am going to launch him into acid, maybe I do that first. Okay. 
Does he still take bounce? He does. Which doesn't really matter. But, well, yeah, I gotta kill this guy first anyway. Or do we still have shields? We do. So he's gonna explode and shoot me this way. Which, I have a shield, right? So who cares? I could hit this dude and get the extra damage there, remove his shields, and then when I come down here to ram, this guy will die and deal more damage to him. Or actually, uh, only direct damage will remove the shield. Does that mean that like not all other damage, push, blocking is unaffected? So I feel like I'm looking at the acid description versus the energy shield description. I feel like, yeah, this has to be a punch. Right? Yeah. So I guess that's good. We're going to tank that damage with our shield. We're going to ram here. Then we're gonna acid. We're gonna we're gonna do the uh, missile barrage, which is gonna weaken. It's gonna kill these two, which is great. And then these guys are gonna like hit each other, which is also great. Ba boom. Okay. Easy enough there. I don't see too many problems. We come here, we push him into the water. We come here. We bounce everyone. Can I kill all three? Let's say I do this. This guy's down to one. This guy's gonna get pushed into the water, so it doesn't matter. I almost wonder if, if it's better for me to do this. And then I get, like, extra ramming damage. I still don't think I kill him, but... Yeah. That's fine. And then let's fire off the bubbles. That went really well. Two flawless missions, guys? What? What? That's beautiful. You love to see it. All right. That took a little bit longer than I anticipated, but uh, well worth the rewards, in my opinion. We're looking pretty jacked here towards the end of this island. Uh, I have two cores. What would I do with that? I could buff the Taurus Cannon. Sure. I could give extra healing on kills, but it kind of seems like we're doing fine. Uh, or I could give an extra move here, but it's kind of waste. Well, I can install a core and give... Give... Uh, move here. I could give 7 health too, which is just makes him like an actual tank. It's actually not too bad of an idea. Let's do it. I'm going to install this and take the move. We're going to install this and take the health. Goes to 7. So now he can tank shots that are going to do like, you know, 3 to 5 damage. He's laughing. Alright, guys, we're going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.